Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It has already been a very chaotic day for us. The house is a mess. John's already gone. I just got off work from night shift, but to sum everything up, our SUV broke. And so John had to take it to the shop, but he had to rush because they only had one opening today and the shop is like 20 minutes away. So me and Tiana just got dressed and ready. And now we are gonna head there to pick him up because he's just sitting there waiting. And then we have a bunch of stuff to do today. So we're gonna take you along and have a fun, busy, crazy day. I got I got a little eye dress. What happened? Oh my goodness. Excuse me, sir. That's her ballerina dress. You better stop. There's Daddy. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I feel like with mechanics though it's always that way. Yeah, they say 30 minutes, count on three to four days. <laughs> I told him your car broke, but I didn't tell him what happened to it yet. So all right, I'll tell him in just a second. Can you unlock my car so I can get all my stuff out of it? Oh yeah, Thanks, of course. Mate. In case you guys are wondering about our luxury vehicles, I have here a 2005 Toyota Prius that has gotten me through school and got me through everything. It's been great. And then John has a 2008 Ford Escape that has gotten us all over the country. Don't be telling them all about our fancy vehicles. Somebody might try to rob us. Um, so we're dropping my Ford Escape off right here because last trip uh, from Pittsburgh back, I felt a little shake in the front end, especially right around 120 miles an hour or so. That's when it got a little wobbly. No, but really, uh, I think it's might be an axle or a wheel bearing or something. I don't know. Either way, it'll probably take them five minutes to fix it. They'll charge us $2,000 and we'll move down the road. It has been a chaotic morning so far. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Um, but now, hopefully, they get the car fixed today. We're not really sure. They think they might be able to. I feel like it's always a gamble with like car repair places. Yes, and then if you go to the dealership, which is totally possible and seems like the most reliable, they charge you like the price of a new car to fix your car. So Yeah, you might as well just trade your vehicle in if you're going to go to the dealership to get anything fixed. Even an oil change is like $700. I just noticed that my gas light's on. So first things first. Your gas light? You got a triangle some... light on. Yes. You got a check engine light on. You got every light. It looks like a Christmas tree up there. And yes, you're completely out of gas as well. We're almost to the gas station, but I forgot to tell you guys that the one thing about this car that's not great is we don't have AC. We're going to make it work. <laughs> the string broke. She said the one thing that's bad about this car. The one thing. I think it's basically a go kart at this I mean, point. You should probably wash it. You'd be it. better off with a moped. We're very appreciative that we have two cars. Yes. See, look at that. Look at you, babe. If, if you want to receive a time to talk, and you might have to crawl even after you walk. You don't know that song, do you? No. John Michael Montgomery, Life's a Dance. Is that babe, really it? This probably came out before you were born. You were youngin'. Why didn't you get premium? Okay. If there was a lower grade gas, if they would let me put water in this, I'd do it. Here's one other thing I don't like. How many options and how many things do you have to select before you finally get the gas out of the nozzle? Are you a Kroger member? Do you want a car wash? No, why don't you want a car wash? How are you doing today? And then it finally lets you select the gas and then pump. It's so annoying. Did you use my Kroger number? Nope. You didn't get a discount? Don't want a discount John. today. Not in a mood for a discount. While John's pumping the gas, I thought I should elaborate on the fact that I worked last night, explain to you guys what that means. So I work at the hospital, I'm a nurse anesthetist. I worked last night on call from home actually. I got called in for three hours from like 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. and then I got to go back home and go to sleep. So my sleep schedule was interrupted, but I actually did get to sleep. And then tonight I work 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. in-house. Um, so that means that I'll be in the hospital in a call room, I'll wake up to do cases and then go back to sleep, which is why I don't sleep during the day because there is a chance that I don't do anything at work. And if I don't do anything at work, I don't want to have slept all day and then not spend time with my amazing family. Cool story, bro. Now we're going to go to Kroger and get snacks for the day because we're going to be running around a bit for a little while. I didn't fill it up just in case the car doesn't make it very <laughs> long. <laughs> What's mommy getting? <laughs> what are you trying to get? Ma'am. Let's see if mama gives in. This one because we don't need a she whole gave in. box of Oreos. She gave in. We Came saw up with it. A happy medium, but you gave in. Way to go, strict mama.
we have the snacks and the drinks, so we're good to go now and get some stuff done. Thank you. What is this? Vanilla bean. Sounds good. Yeah, shake it. Yeah, like you weren't there when I got it. I wasn't paying attention to what you bought in the store. <laughs> and then some Cheez Its. These are my favorite. They're so good. And me. You love those too? I thought you got Oreos. And she got this healthy grape soda probiotic drink. This is my soda hack for kids. She loves these and they're healthy and I love them too. This How's is really, this tastes like a vanilla milkshake. Is it good? Mm hmm. Ooh. I got you a peach too, okay? Yeah. Would you like a peach when you're done with your Oreos? Okay. We haven't had this brand before, so I'm gonna let her do a little taste test. Here you go. Matches your dress. Yummy. Now what are we gonna do next? Take pictures of the house, hooray. Yay, are you ready to take pictures of the house? I think so. I hope the AC is on in there because it's not on in this car. It's so hot in here. Okay. That's why we never drive this car. First world problems. We have a lot of them today. <laughs> All right, now we're at a place called Roxalana Hills, and this is where my partners and I just finished our newest flip property. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhouse, and it came out really nice from what I've seen so far, but I'm actually here to take the listing photos now, and I think Tiana wants to give you guys a tour of the place. Bite, do they? Yeah. Did he just pinch you when he was trying to jump off you? Yeah. Mama, one, 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 cuss him. I hold him. I hold him. Oh, you're gonna hold the camera? Uh huh. You gotta cuss him. Thank you. I don't want to scare him, so I'm trying to be gentle. Oh, look. Can you see him? Yeah. What do you think his name is? Cricket. Oh my! And how many put it on my hand? Yeah. Yeah. My pony stick. Okay. You'll probably like that. Yeah, buddy. There. Thanks. Tiana found a grasshopper. What? Oh, I put it in glass. Okay. All right, so we're back over here at TLC Auto Care, and so far, this has been absolutely incredible. They actually sent me a text, showed me a picture of what was wrong with my vehicle, and sent me the quote through text. I feel like shops just don't do that. They're not in the 21st century. So, so far this experience has been amazing. The quote was decent and they're actually going to take me inside right now and show me exactly what is wrong with my car. All right, so this is the shop owner right here. He's going to show me what's wrong with the tire. And that's the wiggle I was feeling at high speed. And you guys can see in here, it's a little dark, but it's uh, not good. So these guys were great. I'm going to leave my car here and they're going to get fixed by Monday. All right, babe. So it was pretty bad. The whole axle boot was tore. It looked like the knuckle was broken. 
Like dangerous? So I'm not sure if it was dangerous or not. We won't talk about that. <laughs> but they're going to fix it, uh, but they can't get the parts until Monday. So we have to leave the car here for the weekend. So we're just down to our little go-kart here They've with no good. AC. What's that? They've been doing good. Yeah. It's been like a great experience. They just bought the shop, they're new owners. Mm, okay. And he cool. has an IT background, which is why they have all this nice software that texts you and everything. That's really cool. I well, told him, I said, I don't even know if I cared what the quote would say. I was just like thankful to get a text. We don't really need the car right now because we can just use this one. Yeah, so. this one's so nice. Like, you know, I'm not sweating at all. This car got me all the way through CRNA school with no problems, okay? What's the next? I don't know. I'm kind of hungry. Do you want to go knock out the two nitro houses because we're close to them and then go home and eat and like disperse the rest of them? Yeah, so I have more photos I need to take mm -hmm. of other houses that we just purchased okay. before photos. Listen. Okay. I'm not even being dramatic. I'll cover You're always dramatic. A little, but y you thought we were going to photograph all these with a four-year-old in a car seat with no AC? Uh, I wasn't planning on not having AC. Mm -hmm. She's not back there watching a cell phone. Mm -hmm. That's not what she's doing. And she's actually, uh, that's a book. Just looks like a cell phone. Yeah, it's like, it's to trick her, actually. Yeah, we never use screen time ever. Like, uh, I just can't believe parents would do that, give their kids screen time. So shameful. When you were in there, I got a text that someone wants to meet um, Bluey Bingo. Oh, no. So Bluey Bingo is still up for adoption. It's getting serious. Somebody emailed the shelter because they shared his picture. What is that noise? Oh, wow. But anyway, maybe we'll meet them later. I don't know if they're free today, but... Sounds like somebody's driving a weed eater down the street. <laughs> All right, let's go take some more photos. Okay. All right, we just have a few more houses to take photos of. This is one we picked up about two, three weeks ago. We're actually just gonna sell this one through a third party auction. I'm actually not gonna do a tour on this one because the electricity's off, but as you can tell, it needs a lot of help. I'll show you guys the kitchen real quick. It's pretty dark back here though. This thing's really dated. And if it doesn't sell at auction, we will come in here and flip this entire house, but we're just gonna try to get rid of this one really fast. All right, that's the last house we're taking pictures of today. We didn't go in this one either because there's a report of a lot of fleas in there and we don't want baby girl and Rihanna to be around that. I have a phobia. That one's pretty bad inside too. I'll show you a couple pictures real quick, but uh, that one's gonna need some work. But they all do and that's why we buy them for discounted prices. What do you wanna do now? Head home, eat some lunch? Yes, let's eat. We made it back home, we're all refueling. I made some meals the other day actually to keep in the fridge. It's coconut lime rice with a little bit of red pepper and some mindful chicken. Um, very delicious. So we're gonna refuel, rest a little, enjoy the AC, hang out with Bluey Bingo. After lunch, Rihanna passed out on the couch and understandably so because she had a really long night last night. But I think I know just the thing to help wake her up. $500 later, and I have my drinks. So I got an iced vanilla latte. I got Tiana, a vanilla bean frappuccino, kids version. And we got Rihanna, a London Fog, which she really likes and I don't think she's had it in a while. So hopefully she likes it. Hello, ladies. Hello. Ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> oh, baby. Thank you. Oh, my mom. Don't let Bluey Bingo get it. Hopefully I did a good job. I didn't have you there to help me, so I panicked. <laughs> and that's what I ended up with. What is it? Okay. You got a London Fog. Okay, yum. And Tiana, I think you got a vanilla bean frappuccino. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, yeah, and yum. then I got an iced latte. I played it safe. Thank you, babe. I'm alive now. We made it to the pool. Tiana's already jumped in. <laughs> you done with your floaties? And we're gonna hang out here for a bit before dinner. I actually just ordered dinner, Instacart. What'd you get? I got hot dogs, coleslaw, um, corn, and baked beans for like what a summer meal. Was it the 4th of July? Well, because it's like a <laughs> summer meal, and Tiana's been asking for hot dogs. Um, hot dogs. And you want some hot we're gonna dogs? make okay. a little summer meal because summer's almost coming to an end. Oh, sad. But I actually fall is my favorite season, so I'm not that sad. I know. Oh, look at this. Uh -huh. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, there you go, fam. Let's go. Not. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That was close. <laughs> All right, this is a mommy and daughter race. First one to daddy wins. Ready, set, go. go. Use your feet, baby girl, use your feet. Oh, she went under like a torpedo. Oh, there she, that was close. <laughs> mommy, you and one? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Now remember what we say? I don't remember. And we, Thank you. Good job. Let me say rematch. Hey, we're always good sportsmanship, mm. all right? Mom. <laughs> you want to do a rematch? Match. Come on, rematch. <laughs> oh, you want to go over there? Okay, that's no problem. Oh, you can go over there. That was cool. How high do you think that was? Uh, maybe a seven. Seven feet? No, maybe nine. Nine feet? Yeah. Wow, you're so brave. <sighs> So if you're new to our channel, you're probably wondering what pool we're swimming at. And we actually own a unit here. It's an Airbnb. It's actually that top unit right there. And right now somebody's staying in it, so we can't go into it, of course, but we can always use the pool. And that's part of the reason why we bought this unit. It's right up the street from us. And now baby girl has a pool. I just got out of the shower, Tiana's in the bath, and I'm whipping together dinner. This is a super easy dinner, um, like I said, trying to just savor the rest of summer. So I made some coleslaw here, and then we have some light life hot dogs. The beans are heating up, the corn just finished, I'm about to add some seasonings to it, and then we have condiments. This combination of foods reminds me of summer when I was a kid, so I feel a little nostalgic right now. Mm. How is it? <laughs> Good. I think that was a really good choice, Tiana. That, that was delicious. What do you think, babe? I'm feeling real American right now. <laughs> <laughs> I say this meal is a solid 7 Mom. out of 10 on summer meals list. I want my thing. You like it? I want my thing. That makes all good. Hey. Yeah, mustard and ketchup mix all together. Uh, yummy. Oh, I want my really crazy. <laughs> Why is he really crazy? Yeah, he's really he's crazy. Hey, buddy. Come here, you can't beg. Come here, come here. All right, I'm ready to eat. Do you guys want to go to the park after dinner? After you, yeah, okay. I'm at work now. After dinner, we went to the park, hung out, and then put Tiana to bed. John and I watched the show. And then I came here. Um, like I said, when I'm on call at night in the hospital, we're not always doing something. And right now there are no cases going on in the operating room. So I'm gonna go upstairs to the call room and try to get some sleep in case we get a call later and I have to do something. I'm in the pre-op area right now. I was just checking out what's going on as soon as I got here. Um, so if I have to do something tonight, I'll update you guys. If I don't, I'll be sleeping the whole night and I'll catch up with you in the morning because we also have some fun stuff planned tomorrow. So we're gonna continue this vlog into Sunday. In case you're dying to know what my call room looks like this is it so i hang my book bag right there there's my bed and the hospital phone i have my pager my little nightstand and then i put my clothes right here because now i'm in my jammies so if i need to get up i can just throw those on really fast it's like a little hotel room a little tiny home hotel room not too shabby and they just redid them like a year and a half ago so everything's new in here i'm about to get cozy watch a youtube video and fall asleep Unless somebody calls, hopefully not. But if they do, I'll be here. Hello, guys. I'm on a walk. Oh. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, almost there. I'm finally almost there. I'm sad. 
Good morning, everybody. We are out on the trail on our way to the river because I did not get any calls or pages last night at work. So I slept the whole eight hours I was there. Um, nice. It was magnificent, but John did not get to sleep because Tiana woke up. What time did she wake I up? I got a call from this patient at three o'clock in the morning saying her tummy hurts and she needed to eat pretzels and hummus immediately. <laughs> So John was up from like 3 to 6 a.m. while I was soundly sleeping at the hospital, um, feeding Tiana and trying to get her back to sleep. They eventually fell back asleep, and now we are here with Bluey Bingo heading down to the river. Um, we want to spend some quality time with him because he might be getting adopted tonight. Yes? There's a griffin here. Oh, we saw Griffin. We did. We saw Tiana's friends, Griffin and Lily and Piper. They're all siblings with their parents because they were down at the river right before us. Yes. Let's take a Tiana. Yes, you were there. Yeah, me and Piper say my name. Yes, Piper learned how to say Tiana. Piper is two years old. Two years old. Mm -hmm. You and Griffin are four. And I think Bye, Lily Jojo. is seven. Why Jojo? Jojo's four too. What about Kamora? Kamora's four too. Uh, you guys are all the same age. What about a teacher? I don't know how old your teacher is. Maybe 11? Yeah, she could be 11. But I think she's probably a grown up, so she's probably not 11. Uh. Maybe she's 30? Yeah. That could be. Oh, uh, yeah, I got. Bye bye. In the water? Help. Help. If you turn around, you can hold on. Yep, yeah, there you Look who's coming! Look at that Whoa! What's that? It's a giant centipede. Look at him. Whoa! Okay, we'll pick it up. Well, maybe on the stick, but I don't want to touch it because I don't know if it bites. Like, it might not bite, but it might bite, and I'm not entirely sure. No, uh, that's why, that's why. <coughs> See no bite? I touched its back, and it, it didn't sting me. Do you want to touch it on its back? Uh, I've had manure this. Oh, it's okay. Just touch him on his back. He can't hurt you there. Good job. Well, how did it feel? Good. We had a blast at the river and I'm actually outside now because I wanted to talk to you guys for a second before we take Bluey Bingo to meet his new possible forever family. Um, so I don't know how much we'll be filming. We're not sure if Tiana is going to get upset at all or not. She seems to really understand and be fine with it as of right now. But um, Bluey Bingo is super sweet and cute so it might be hard once we get there. We're going to try to film. We'll see how it goes. But this is a very exciting and bittersweet time because we've really enjoyed the past few weeks with sweet Bluey. Um, but this new family that's going to meet him has like a yard, other dogs, a lot of space. They live in the country so it's really an ideal situation for him. So we're going to leave in about five minutes, get his stuff packed up, and then head to the shelter to meet them.
How about that, buddy? We're gonna miss you. He's such a sweetie pie. Uh -huh. <laughs> We are home now, feels a little bit empty without Bowie Bingo, but we're actually about to do something exciting, kind of unexpected. Um, I'm making it sound like it's something crazy, but it's something most normal people do. It's just new for us. John and I got a bed with a real headboard and a footboard. This is our first time with a headboard and a footboard in like 10 or 12 years. And also this bed has something cool, which I'll show you guys. Yeah, John picked out the bed, it's really nice, but our bed has been on the floor, as a lot of you probably know, because we've gotten some comments of people asking why our bed's on the floor. I always say because it centers us closer to the earth, <laughs> but really it's just for convenience. I always say it's because I'm cheap. <laughs> um, but now we're about to set up this really cool bed and I'm excited. It's holding up! Yeah! Oh! It worked! That took forever. It did. It took like an hour. I did not think it was going to take that long. But look, this is the reason I bought this bed because I thought this was really cool. Look at this. There's drawers underneath the bed. There's that four drawers, nice. two on each side. You can keep blankets, what? whatever. What? Yep, and then they lock back. Oh. Right now, so it's not working. There we go. They walk back. I think it looks really good. And we have a headboard and footboard for the first time in like 12 years. It looks nice. What do you think, baby <laughs> This is not sponsored, guys, but if you're interested in this bed, we wanted to wait to shout it out until we got it put together. But it all came, it was nice and neat, and we'll put the link down below for this bed. Pretty nice. Mm, I think you did good. I like it. That took forever, but I think it was worth it. You picked out a nice bed. Yeah, I can't wait to use the drawers underneath the bed. I don't know why I thought that was so cool. We didn't really need a headboard and footboard, but as soon as I Four saw drawers. it. Yeah, I was like, I just like the idea of like hidden storage, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it's really neat. It's been a long weekend, a busy weekend, a good weekend, kind of emotional. Yeah. But um, it's Sunday night, I have to work tomorrow. Tiana has summer school tomorrow. I think you have to work too. Baby girl so. starts preschool in like a week. I know, it's crazy. Guys, she's growing up so fast. I feel like every time I blink, she's like hitting a new milestone or like getting a year older or something. It's kind of sad. I know, and also, she's so I'm, mature today about everything. I know, and also I'm kind of sad about Bluey Bingo. Well, he's gonna be so happy, yeah. so happy. I think he found a good home and they're gonna send us pictures and they even said we could watch him from time to time. So that helps out a little bit. Yeah, so we figured we would wrap this up because we're gonna be spending the rest of the evening just like getting ready for Monday. Um, I love our bed. It is nice. Ah, we need a uh, matching pillowcases. Oh, I know, nothing <laughs> matches, but we wanna say thank you guys for watching. This is a really awkward angle. Like and subscribe <laughs> if you wanna see more videos and we'll see you next week. See you next week. Alright guys, I have to take photos, okay? Okay.